What's up? Happy Wednesday. Don't mind me, guys. I am just setting, uh, getting all set up here. All right. So good to see you. What's going on? Let me make sure this thing is uh, clean. So thank you guys for joining Wednesday Night Live. It is uh, good to see you here, man. And I am Kurt with Kurt's Card Care, and I hope you're doing well. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy spring to you. Um, you know, just sitting here at the, uh, at the old uh, house. Another, another eventful day here, over here, man. But I uh, went shopping. I got a new shirt. So I didn't know if you guys like basketball cards or not, but uh, I hear this guy's pretty hot, so I figured I might as well get the shirt, you know what I'm saying? So what's shaking, Bruce? What's up, Dean? Michelle, what's going on? Hey, I'm glad that everybody's here to have some fun tonight, man, because we are going to have some fun tonight. We're going we're gonna to work on some great cards, and I'm going to teach you how to do it. And it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be fun, and I promise I'm going to teach you something. So let me just get or organized here. You guys, you know me. Sometimes I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm good with cards, but I'm getting all my feeds set up, you know. So, But uh, what is shaking, man? I, I hope you guys are doing well. Drew, what's up? Mike, good to see you. And um, I'm glad, uh, glad you guys decided to join tonight. So, you know, I, I tell you what, man. You know, of course I'm going to get asked about uh, the... Um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, gotta keep, gotta keep the tattoos nice and, uh, freshened up, you know, the older I get, the more they fade away, but, um, yeah, you guys, I did, I felt, like, super, uh, a lot of, a lot of happiness, um, from the shout out, the, I, you know, like, I love happy customers, man, how many people on here have you guys reached out to me personally and said, hey, Kurt, man, look what I did, look what I worked on, I'm proud of you, you know, you don't have to be standing in the middle of PSA headquarters to make me proud of you. You know, I like that. Uh, I like that you guys have a lot of you have learned something new, and you're you enjoy it, and you're proud of it, and uh, and and you know it's something you you dig doing. But I I do I do get a little annoyed with the word altered being like construed with card cleaning. Like since everybody wants to talk, man. Like I'll tell you, like. This is me. It's my place. Remember, I made this stuff and I make all these videos. So, like, if anybody wants to come to me and ask me what's up, you know, you know me. I'll tell you what's up. You know, so, like, I've always been, my thing is I love cards and I love taking care of them. Never, if anybody wants to write a narrative um, about this being about, like, trickery or deceit, whatever, I think you might have a guilty conscience because this is about being hands-on and appreciative with something that we spend a lot of money on. How much money do you spend on grading? How much money do you spend on products? You know, and then we're at the mercy of these products coming in a great shape or getting a, getting a high score because that's kind of like what it turned into to be able to even sell cards. So, you know, I've always looked at card care as something of like kind of something that we can control as collectors. You know what I'm saying? You know, something that we can, can control, something that we can at least, you know, if grading costs are going to go through the roof and if product costs are through the roof and, you know, people want to shun any, because like if somebody says, talk shit about Kurt's card care, it's about any one of my customers. It's just, you know what I mean? It's, a, they're, it's, they're, it's, they're talking about you, you know? And the fact is that like, you have to say to yourself before you clean a card now, is this okay? Am I doing anything? Man, don't let, don't let the vocal minority pull you into something that, you know, to feel bad about. I don't even get it, man. So, my take on it is take care of your stuff. You know, you spend a lot of money on it. You spend a lot of effort finding these things and doing all stuff. Have fun with it. You know what I mean? Have fun with it. You know, so, you know, so the answer to the simple question is how to make you feel. That was almost like Tom Brady winning the freaking Super Bowl and saying, I'd like to thank my teammates. I'd like to thank my coach. I'd like to thank my family. And I'd like to thank Kurt's card care. That's how it felt. You know, so anybody trying to get buzz or clicks off something that, you know, I build or made or whatever, you know, that's cool. Good luck. But um, if you want to learn how to work on cards and you want some good tips and some helpful things, you found the right channel and we'll do that tonight. All right. So that's it. And, uh, but I, and you guys, I'm sure there's tons of comments on here. I appreciate them. I won't be able to like probably read a ton of them, but let's get to the card stuff. All right. So tonight we're going to do a Walter Payton rookie and we're going to do a LeBron James autograph and we're going to work on, um, 
we got some stuff that you know I usually get hit up with a few times a week, right? When it comes to um, like creases and things like that, you're like, how do we get this stuff out? Do I gotta soak this card? What do I do? You know what I mean? So I thank you guys for being here tonight. We're gonna do it all together, all right? So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys too because like I'm like a pretty low key guy, like especially with my personality online. I've just always enjoyed working on cards and stuff like that. But when it came out today, or you know, when when I started kind of getting this twist of making it sound like uh, like it's a manipulative thing or whatever. I've sat here with you guys, my trustworthy people that pay attention and stay with me and watch this stuff, or at least learn about it before they say something. And you've been you've been observing, you've been paying attention, and it's like even just based on some of the stories that have been got back to me, it almost sounds like I promote like um, like it sounds like I you send me your cards, I cut them all up and do all this crazy stuff to them, and let's trick some people, and make some money. So if that's the motivation, man, that's a, you got the wrong channel. But if you want to just learn some simple stuff that can improve your collection, you got the right place. You know what I mean? So, thank you guys, I appreciate you. So let's let's get going, let's get moving, and we'll uh, we'll have fun tonight. All right. So let me turn this thing around here, and um, we will get started. So. Here, here comes the lowering desk, all right? So there we go. Oh, there's my new shirt again if you want to see it. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let that one uh, sit there for a second. Good old, good old Wimby. I appreciate him. All right, so let's get busy. And all right, so you guys, here's what I'm thinking about doing tonight. And you're here at a good time. I tell you what, we got some good stuff tonight. So here's what I'm thinking. Let me just take a look at my notes. Um, so let's, I want to, we're kind of going to go back and forth, you guys, because I want to do uh, a couple things over here tonight, all right? So number one, let's take a look at this, you guys. Do you guys love this card? Like, e even though I'm a Detroiter and Chicago is always, like, usually better than us at, you know, sports on a consistency basis, I still love Walter Payton. He's just like, like when Michael Jordan played, and I'm old enough to watch Michael Jordan, you know, I always hated Michael when he played. When he retired, I was allowed to love him, but I hated him when he played. But this guy, a little bit before my time, because I was a kid when he was, like, tearing it up, but, like, this guy's sweet. So, you guys, we got a wrinkle at the bottom, okay? Got a wrinkle at the bottom. And here's the part that kind of concerns me. So, as you guys can see, we have a... a crease going down there but it's also here's something i want you guys to look at can you see, like let's look at the texture in walter's face so look at his forehead look at his hair and do you see how it shines out right there do you guys see how it gets the real slippery right there it's almost like it was wet and pinched or something like that and hey you guys everybody on here tonight sending my peace and love to all of you man so thanks for being here thanks for joining and if it's your first time Welcome, man. You're at a safe place. This is a, a place for people that love cards and love talking about cards and kind of other stuff, you know, like whatever's on your mind. If anybody needs some well wishes, man, shoot it up there. We got your back and I'll teach you a couple things. So we're doing this Walter Payton right now. And the, um, so that's this. This is what I'm talking about. If you guys can see that shine out right there. I don't like that because it's like it's hard for me to show you on this video, but you see how it's like wonky and it looks like it's pinched. So I think even if you were like, hey, I just want to get this card graded as is, I think this would potentially come back altered because it looks like it's really shined out and pinched. So I see that. So when I run into something like this, you know, when I run, I run into something like this, I'm like, all right, so we got to get the texture back. Hopefully we can get the uh, mild, those creases out. Because look at, like in true card fashion, some of these don't even go to the back. They're all on the front. But the card is a little wobbly and a little wonky, right? So what I'm going to do, you guys, like, I've had, um, I've had so many times where guys have said, you know, should I just soak this card? Should I soak this card? Soaking cards is cool, you know? It, it's, it works when they're super dirty or wrinkled or whatever, but this card is clean as hell. I don't need to soak the whole card, but I got to get it back in shape. Now, a couple things, you know, that I can't do, you guys, and here's, this is just as important. This is important. I want you guys to know that, like, hear me when I say this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stress this one, all right? I think, you guys, that sometimes you give me so much credit that it's, like, almost, like, mythical or something sometimes. So check it out. 
when it comes to working on stuff like cards like this, I bet you guys that I sit down at my desk at least every day and work on cards. There's so many times that I try to work on stuff and it just goes nowhere for me, you know, and I'll just get to a point where I'm like, I can't do anything with this. And I just turn off the camera. I just turn off the camera. I just turn off the camera. So I just want to stress to you guys, if you're new at working on cards or if it's something you haven't done a lot, don't beat yourself up, you know, get a, keep, keep sitting down, keep practicing. Cause I want you to know that everything, I know it looks all tidy and awesome when I wrap everything up into a five minute video and you're like, wow, this guy's freaking magic. No, you guys, I just want to show you that if you sit your ass down and practice and focus on it, you're going to get wins, but you're also going to get a lot of stuff that just doesn't improve. But here's the nice part. It's not always good. It's not like it's going to shoot down south. Like you're not going to like ruin stuff, but just don't be hard on yourself, man. If you're like, I can't fix this or I can't do this or I'm, I'm pissed, like chill out, chill out, enjoy it, have fun with it. And just remember that, uh, not everything I touch goes to magic either. You know what I mean? So uh, just so you guys are so damn passionate and that's what I love about this crowd and this crew, but just be realistic. Don't, don't be hard on yourself. I think that I, when I got into this stuff and even tonight, I'm just having fun. I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to push the limits to entertain you to the max. I'm going to like be responsible and courteous and teach you stuff. And if stuff works, cool. You learned it. If stuff doesn't work, cool. You learned it. And that way you guys can, you know, look at your stuff when, you know, you're getting into things like this. So let's get back to Walter and we're going to do a semi soak. So what that constitutes is I'm not going to have to use an ounce of spray, okay? I'm going to use just a couple pumps because I know I got rambling there for a second, but like I'll have guys hit me up and be like, hey, Kurt, you know, I love the eight ounce bottle of spray, but I already used it all in one day. And I'm like, well, what'd you do? They're like three cards. And I'm like, and they show me before and afters. And I'm like, ah, it was just, it wasn't even dirty, man. You could have just been a little bit more conservative with it, you know? So appreciate your business, but I don't want you to like buy stuff you don't have to use so fast. You know what I mean? So tonight when you see this issue, not a dirty card, just a little wonky with little creases in it, we're going to do a semi soak. All right. Um, so let's do that. All right. Oh, um, I, I am. Re I see a comment. Michael wrote, am I the only one that makes uh, the cards worse? Michael, that I, I run after any, but I, I can get 50 people in a row saying this is magic and I love it but I'm going to chase down the one that says that. So Michael, I can't do it a whole lot for you right on this call, but if there's something you're working on, and I'm talking to Michael's cards with a Z, if there's something you're working on, dude, and you're like, Hey, I'm just, I'm having a challenge here. Or I can't get over this bump. Don't you be shy, dude, because if uh, I look at our messages and you haven't sent me a message or asked me a question about anything yet, you know, I'm mad at you. Don't be sitting over there at home going, you know, I don't know what to do, you know, or should I, I don't want to bother Kurt. No, no, no. You, you reach out to me and nobody's ruined more cards than me. And let me, uh, I've ruined them on, but you know, 98% of them were worth a dollar. You know what I mean? So as much as you have a good, good card collection, get a good base card collection. All right. All right. So we'll go back to it. So we're going to do the semi soak on the Walter Payton. Then we're going to come back to it. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly it. The key is to ruin base cards. But you know what, you guys? Like, for example, this card right here. Of course I'm going to use a cool card for a live broadcast with a full house of people because it's cool and it's good entertainment. But do you guys know that I have a box of this? Th I have probably five to 700 76 tops cards that are just in a box that are all beat to hell. I've worked on these cards so many times that... Of course, I respect this card, and I'm going to do a great job on it for you guys tonight, but I want you to know that I'm just not, it's not like my first time working on one of these tonight. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to do, and hey, thank you to Michelle, Gary, Bruce, Chuck, uh, Jason, all my homies on here answering questions, you guys. It's kind of like my crew, and I love these guys and girls, so thank you for helping the, the, you know, the people out with questions, you guys. Thank you. Um, so now I'm just going to scoot Walter over here, but I want to do everything in the frame so you guys can see it. So with a semi soak, you guys, what the whole point is, I want to get the, um, I want to get the, I want to get the card wet, you know, but I don't want to soak it for a half hour. I just want to get it wet so I can get it back in shape. All right. So let's do that. So I'm just going to use, you can hit up like a couple sprays on this. I don't really, uh, let's see. I just, 
I'm trying to keep it all on video, but I don't want to hit the card face first, really. All right, that's good. So I can do that there. That's that. That'll be the back. I'm going to do the same thing for the front. And we're going to come back to this later in the show because we're going to work on the LeBron James here in a second. Okay, that's it. So I think that was like, like six little squirts. So let's do put that right here. We'll put this wrinkly, wobbly Walter Payton in the middle. We'll say, Walter, we're, Mr. Sweetness, we'll see you soon. But we want to get you in better shape. Too cool of a card, too cool of a player to be uh, wrinkly and uh, in poor shape, all right? So let's do that. And then what I'm going to do right now, guys, just to keep it tight, is I'm going to put a clip there. And we're going to do a clip there. And that's it. All right, so easy, right? That is, that's really all you have to do for step one for the semi-soak, all right? So what we're doing, and if you just jumped on and you're like, what the heck, what, what, what the heck did you just do? So I got the, we're going to hold the card. It's going to, it's going to, um, yeah, yeah, you're right, Jason. It's just a little bit, just a little, because the card is in overall good shape and it's not dirty. If that card was filthy, you guys, we'd soak the whole card. We'd do the whole thing. We'd watch it, you know. I promise I'll make more of those videos because it's sometimes the only option. But this card is not dirty and we just want to get it, I want to get that texture back mainly. If you guys could see, it's hard to photograph or film, but the top of the card right above Walt's head was all shiny and pinched down. So I just want to get that texture back and get, hopefully get those wrinkles out of there. You know what I mean? So that's, what, that's the whole point. So what we're going to do is hold this like this. I'm going to open it up before the show's over and we're going to check on it. It's going to take a couple days to dry out. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, you know, it's going to look pretty good. Oh, I got a good question on there. That's one of the, and sorry guys, if I missed them, it was, there's a lot tonight. I apologize. Um, I had somebody ask, have you had any issues with staining specifically on 52 tops? No, personally, no. But if you need some, some sort of specific support on that, let me know. 52 tops are cards that I've worked on a lot. Um, just to, I, that's one of my favorite cards to buy. So if you have any questions on those, they do take a long time to dry and they will be more when you soak a 52 tops, the border will go down like to a cream color. It's, it's white, but then it will go to cream. But then when it's dried properly, it pops back to white. So you let me know if, um, if you have any questions on that, but I will absolutely help you out. All right. So, and, and, and vintage collectors, if you ever had like a spot or anything like happen on your card when you're working on it, Chances are you just got a little heavy handed with the uh, card spray, but don't worry about it because if that's the case, I can teach you how to get that spot out of there. You got to get the card. You got to re-wet the surface a little bit, spread that out because it went wet, 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 dry, dry, dry. There was not a transition. You got to just do, use it, spread out the moisture a little bit smoother and let it all dry evenly. All right, man, you guys rock with the questions, dude. Thank you for asking all these. It's stuff that I just can't think of all the time. And that's, I know coming on here live is like cooking with three hands, man. We got a card here, a card here, answering questions, but I like to move quick like this. And I'm never going to be a business owner that hides away from my customers and, you know, just tells you to read the, read the website because that sucks, you know? So you'll always get the best from me guys. So thank you for, uh, for being here tonight. So let's move around. We're going to hang this. We're going to let this chill. Now I want to show you this LeBron James. We're going to see how far we can get with it tonight. We got some corner and edge issues and it's a super, uh, what's up, Travis? Good to see you, buddy. Um, you know, so let's flip this one around. I, I might have to use the humidor with the LeBron. I like to kind of like get things to a, a finish line sometimes with you guys and we're doing these, but since I've been picking out kind of bigger projects, sometimes I got to like get as far as I can in one night and then we'll like do some more next, uh, I'll follow it up or whatever. But anyways, let me turn this thing around and we'll get on this. This is one of my favorite early LeBron cards, you guys. Um, the Ultimate Signatures Upper Deck. It's sweet. And if you guys don't even... There's some good deals in this set, too. Now, the LeBron and the Michael Jordan are going to be very expensive. But surprisingly, there's some really great players in this set on card autos that are, in my opinion, rather affordable. So if you don't know about them, check them out. 2003, 2004. But let me show you. We'll get, uh, we'll get up close with this one. Alrighty. Oh, and you guys, I forgot to say cheers, man. Cheers. Tonight I got 
some sort of new monster. So that's that's tonight's monster. I don't really know the flavor. It's called a uh, Ruby Ultra Fantasy. Ooh, Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. What quite the name? All right, you guys are here to see LeBron James. So let me get LeBron James in here. Let me get some good lighting. Yeah, lighting is super important, you guys. Like even um let me show you something. So we're tonight we're under ring light here. Um also light here. And that way you guys, I can always see like the textures of the of the card. You know, like um looking for dents when you have a diffused light is really cool because like can you see now well my finger was getting in there but see the top left corner obviously and then next to lebron's name we got a kicked up edge right there this one's the worst of it okay Ooh, there's a new sour gummy worm monster get the hell out of here that sounds delicious um, so then, um, let, let me show you the back. All right. Oh, you know what? The, the Peyton, the Peyton's mine. Somebody asked, like, did you get these donated? This is my buddy's card. This is my good friend's card. So I would like it, but it's not mine. I was looking at the Kobe today. There's a Kobe for sale that, uh, it was like only like 1300 bucks. I know I only, I know it's a lot, but it looked pretty cool. So then let me show you this part, you guys on the back. Let me see if we can get a zoom in here. I want you to look right here. Oh, no wonder I'm on the wrong side. Right below the upper deck. Gold. I got a kind of like a fat lip, I guess you could describe it. There it is. See it? That's what I'm dealing with. But like everything else on this card is fantastic. So what I want to do for this one, you guys, is since I'm going to be working on the edges and corners, I'm going to put on... Um, I'm going to put on black nitrile gloves because I just don't want my hand to get sweaty and to touch it. I don't like touching. So like, here's what's unique about this card. Do you guys see the texture difference? You ever guys hear me say, Hey, it's all about textures. What kind of texture are you working with? See how that's a shiny plastic. And then it goes to the matte finish for his autograph. That's stuff that you guys really got to be careful with because, um, this would take in moisture that wouldn't. So just if you ever had a card with like this type of finish, you always want to like be real skeptical or cautious of this type of stuff because if you're like, I just want to, like, I, I think you could probably polish it, but there's no point. It's, you know, it's matte finish. So we're going to work on that and that, but I want to work on the back first. Okay. So let me get my gloves on here and then we're going to, I'll, I'll bring you in as close as I can. And all right. So if you guys are practicing along at home, one of my favorite tools a drinking straw. All right, so we're going to use a straw, and then we're going to use a card tool. Okay, so that's what we're going to use on this. You guys, if you have fuzzies around a card edge, typically using a little bit of painter's tape to remove them works great for, for me. That's usually been my thing. You know, and uh, but if, you, if that doesn't make sense, man, it's like what I'm saying is I use blue tape. And, uh, I'll just tap it all around the card edges, and it works pretty awesome. If hey, if you guys need an, uh, check out this. I I know I sometimes forget to say this, so I apologize. On my YouTube page, I have everything set up as playlists. So if you're like, hey, how do I get fix an edge? If you went to my Instagram page and started clicking around on there, you're just gonna see a ton of videos, you know. And you're gonna be like, well, how do I know what this is or whatever? Instagram's kind of like my stream of consciousness, where I'm just happy to put out what I'm working on, what I, what I'm what I'm getting into. But when it comes to, hold on one sec, guys, I'm going to wipe this lens. It just looked a little cloudy to me. Eh, maybe not. But uh, if you want to look up something specific, you go to um, YouTube and click on playlists. I have an edges and corners playlist. I have a vintage playlist. I have a TCG playlist. I have So you guys make that your toolbox because here's the thing. Every single thing that I can teach you, I made a video of. If you don't see a video of it, like if you have a card with like white edges and white corners, and you're like, hey, how do I get this white to go away? You'll notice quickly that I don't have a video like that because I don't do that. I don't know how, you know, it's gone. The paint's gone, you know, so like it will help you kind of learn what's permanent, what's not permanent. But just 
simply follow me, you guys. When I got into working on cards, I didn't have a mentor or anybody to teach me. So like, I just kind of developed my company around what do I wish I would have had when I got into card care? And pretty much a bunch of videos of teaching me stuff would, uh, was kind of on the top of my list. So let's get going. Here's what we're doing first. Let's watch that light. See that, see that hump right there? I think this card could score high if I can get this edge under control. <laughs> oh yeah, man! I got proud to wear my uh, proud to wear my uh, Victor my victory jersey today. Victor Wimbenyama. I like saying the name. It's fun. Can't wait to cheer that guy on. And congratulations to that uh, to the dude that got the card, man. That's the one thing that sucked. I feel like you know Kurt's card here got a lot of yak about it, but you know what? Congratulations to the dude that got it. Like freaking awesome, dude. What a what a what a pull, man. I, I'm very happy for him. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to do, um, I'm going to do my breath. You guys, this is a straw. I just want to get this area a little bit warm with my breath and see if I can just put it, put it down and get it in line. Okay. So let's try that. Now we're just going to use the card tool to gently, and I'm starting before that bump. I'm starting here at my finger and just getting a feel for the card. I'm just making contact. This is my whole favorite part of my card tool, that contact point. I don't care if you make contact here, here, here. Whenever I used to work on cards as a kid, I'd always use the back of my fingernails to try to do this. And then it just, it's not the cleanest practice. So like that's basically you guys my inspiration for my card tool. You can hold it any way you want. Sometimes you can hold like a paintbrush. Right now I'm holding it like this because I just want to gently go down that line. So let's just do that again while we got some humidity in there. This is where I get all quiet and I'm like, all right. But ready to see something? Look at look at that so far. So look at let's follow this whole edge, okay? Because you guys, this whole edge has a little bit of a kind of like a little bit of a texture change. I want to make that part look just like the rest of the edge. Got a little bit to go, right? Just a little bit more. But remember, do like I am doing don't um don't go fast like i'm like annoying metaphor guy but like the first thing i think of is you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube right <laughs> so like if you have to take a couple swings at it that's okay you know take your freaking time because this card is highly awesome and highly awesome cards are typically highly valuable. So we're going to take our time with this. And I'm not pushing. I'm not even. I'm just making contact and just kind of gliding over it until I can get it to a nice soft plane. I think we're getting close, my friends. Almost. I'm going to use the straw one more time. And then we're going to work on it a little bit from the front, too. And don't go away, because we're going to, we're going to um, check on the Walter Payton here soon. If you guys got a stack of cards with, like, little corner and edge things, man, make a stack of them and just sit down seriously with straw corner tool like you will make some great progress you know this card this is we're doing step one right now i always want to start with like typically the easiest thing i can do now if we get done tonight and i still got like a little bit of action on here tomorrow i can work possibly put it in the humidor um, maybe try a couple other uh you know just little applications like this but i always start and keep it simple Ooh, it's looking good Oh, 
I like it. It looks very close to the rest of it. Now, let's look at the middle. I want to keep this. We still got an injury. See the bump now? Still got a bump, so let's go to the front side. I wanted to work on the back first because this is the most trouble area right there. And that's the part where I'm not, dis I don't look at these too much um, before our show because I like to figure it out while we go um, rather than come in like with a, I like to think out loud with you guys so you can kind of hear how I process stuff. Um, so what I want to do is I want to do the same practice. Let's get some light in here if you guys don't mind. Sorry, I need some more light. There we go. So look at, now we're bringing in a third light. So we're going to do that, uh, that one and that one. So I'm work, working under three, you guys, so I can just see these things. And that being the most messed up part, I wanted to kind of get to that part last because there's a little kick up right before LeBron's name. See it right there on that edge? I know I'm splitting hairs because you guys might see me work on some stuff that's like super dirty and super bent up. But like, this is trying to get a a card in the in the mint range, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be little things. It's this whole surface of this card is freaking rock star. But it's just little things like this. Well, I won't maybe that's a medium thing, but I still have uh, some hope, all right? So, same deal. Now we're we got a we got an autograph here. So I just wanna see what we can do without humidity. I just want this is the softest paper on the card. Why is it softer? because it doesn't have a plastic coat on it. It's damn near raw. So that tells me that it's going to move for us pretty easy, I think. Okay? Let's just still be careful. I want to put that on there, and we're just going to gently start above it. Let's kind of work over it, work through it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm using a 0.5 pressure. Not a 5, a 0.5. It's not even a full point. I am more focused on making contact and staying right on that, right where that top surface meets that edge. Just going to use the side of the tube, just kind of slide over it. Again, I'm not pressuring this thing on there. I'm just barely touching it. You don't want to pinch your cards down, man. Then that is how you can that is how you can alter a card. Pinch them too much, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You just want to be very, very careful when you're doing stuff like this. But it's it's not super duper hard. All right, we're making some progress, right? It was like a big lip. It's the same deal. Same thing. I'm not afraid of removing you guys any sort of the autograph with a little hot breath of mine. So I am going to come in here with a little bit of breath. Just using a straw, drinking straw. All right. Now I just want to do the same process one more time. Sorry about that light if it's so annoying you guys. I can work with it off. I want you to see what I'm doing. And if anybody's asking me anything right now, sorry guys, I'm not looking at the monitor. I am looking down, but I promise I'll stick around for questions and all that good stuff afterwards. And I will answer questions, so Hang, hang for me. Well, if you see my hands, it's kind of hard for me to answer questions, but when I switch that thing around to my face, you guys, I'll, I'll be reading the screen. And thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully I can entertain you and uh, teach a few things, too. I still see it a little bit, so I just want to continue my little light working here. And I'm not just kind of rocking back and forth on that little lip. Not going to bend that edge. I, in my mind, you guys, I'm just go going right up on that corner, right where that surface meets the edge. 
but I don't want to round it out. So I'm always in my mind going, all right, don't, don't slope it over. Just go right over that top, just nice and smoothly over that top. Looking pretty good. See it right there, that light? Man, if I study it real good, I can see like a, maybe a little bump, but overall pretty damn good, right? It just doesn't catch my eye anymore. I, like first thing I, when I was doing that, it was catching me every time. I'm gonna try a little bit more. Hey guys, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Thanks for jumping in, you guys. Good to hear. Uh, good to hear from you. And hey, you guys. Yeah, I've. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this today. I tried everybody that sent me messages or videos or pictures today. Instagram was sucking. Um, I couldn't really like uh, watch too much. So I think that there was an update. You know what I mean? So hopefully it's working better now. All right. Do you guys cool with me turning on that bright light again? I just couldn't see as much as I wanted to. We're going, we're, we're still working on this little, little area right there, right before that edge. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. And then, because sometimes, right, you guys might be like, hey, I got this edge looking really good. But, you know, it's kind of like at a spot right now where, I can't go much further. So my second step, you guys, with this would be put it in the humidor for about 45 minutes and then do this exact same process. Now, the straw is awesome, but sometimes just a nice kind of humidity session will make these edges and corners really nice and easy to kind of work with. It's the damnedest little things, isn't it? Everything, when you see something like that, you think it's, oh, it's easy, right? It's easy. You just got to touch it and it'll go away. I swear, I can sometimes get a wrinkle off of a baseball player's face compared to like little tiny things like this that will just make you mad. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to press. I, I'm happy with getting that thing almost all the way back down, but I'm not going to outwear my welcome with it. Know when to hold them, know when to, I'm not going to say fold them, but know when to go to plan B. I am going to press pause on that. I spent the last five minutes touching it, working at it, done with it right now. Don't overwork something. And if, you, if you're like me, you guys, and you're like a competitive person and you're like, you know, you're like, must get the job done. I get it, but that's not always the, the, the card care way. You know what I mean? So take your time. You know, and now let's see what, how far we can go with this because there's a couple things I have ideas for plan B. I would be blown the hell away if this thing just laid flat down for us. Here's the hardest part with stuff like this. If you guys have ever asked me a question about a wrinkle or something like this, you know, and if you guys are wondering what the heck I'm doing, it might not be that obvious, but I'm trying to show, point, point your attention right here. We got a, a hit edge. When it has that plastic surface on it, like this card does, it creates a memory and it's hard to get that memory out of there. I might need to hold this card between the plates, but let's try to get it in the best possible shape we can first. And then um, we're gonna go from there. Cause I'll tell you what, I ain't gonna make this thing look any, any worse. I'm not gonna add to this stuff. I'm gonna make it look better, at least a bit better, or I'm just gonna say, hey, you know what? Too cool of a card for me to like get experimental with, but we're definitely not there yet. So let's do same deal. We're gonna do humidity and we're gonna do the card tool. So you guys got a good view, stay right there. Because if I want to put this card between plates, which I'm probably going to have to do in a little, little bit of pressure on it, I want to at least get this part a head start and a little bit unpacked. You don't ever want to put something, retain anything with any amount of light pressure if it's going to fall in on itself. So that's why you really want to, like when you guys, you'll hear me stress about the uh, microscope and stuff. I'm like, look at your stuff, like especially my vintage lovers out there, me included. Look at your vintage stuff under a microscope, stare at it, take a good look at it, because the last thing you want to do is just be like, all right, let's just put it between some plates and retain it, because if you're just hold, folding it in on itself, man, it ain't ever going to get better. So hold on, I just want to do a couple more gentle swipes at this, 
and then I just want to see what it looks like. <clears throat> hey, Steven, thanks, man. You know what? I uh, I still have those Star Wars cards, man. I got them sitting. Um, I got them. I got them graded, sitting here next to me on my wall, man. Well, it, I didn't know I got the Star Wars Tops Chrome ones graded, and I got that same box, you guys, where I have all the 76 uh, football cards. I got the 76 um, Star Wars cards, too. So those are kick-ass. I think those are awesome. Hold on, guys. We're almost, almost there, and I'm going to show you another little technique. Still the same thing, but I sometimes you guys will just go in different motions with it. I'm just kind of training that spot just to go back to its like natural spot. And I think that's about as good as I'm gonna do with my hands. All right. Oh, dude, Batman cards from the from the '60s. Uh, where, man? Where's Jeremy? Is Jeremy, you on here? I'll let you take that question. You should see Jeremy uh, work on his Batman cards, man. I could have an album of the stuff that Jeremy sends me. So the '60s. Cards work fantastic. They're awesome. Um, so I don't know if Jeremy's on right now, but Jeremy's one of my buddies that is like Marvel and Batman guy and all the stuff from the 60s cards, and he rocks them. He does a great job. Okay, so I want to show you guys where I got this thing too. It's not all the way flat, but it's not, it's not wrinkled. It's just kicked up a little bit. See? But I can hold that now. I got that main wobble out of it. It was like kinked in the middle. I think I can get this to lay back flat. You know, so now, um, all right, so now let me just take a look. Let me get my brain situated here. I wanna use a plate and I wanna use at oversized penny sleeves. So bear with me, my friends. This is a live show, so it's not all edited and put together quickly like my videos uh, that fly by. This is a, this is the, uh, the the long version. So thank you for being here. So we're gonna put a plate down, and don't mind me. I'm just over here in my locker, looking for big sleeves. So, being that this card, you guys, is completely dry, and I haven't used any sort of, like, card spray or anything on the LeBron, I'm going to grab a vintage sleeve, because it's a little bit bigger, so it's easier for me to, you know, put a card in, and I'm going to show you something. Let me, uh, sorry. It's hard to get a sleeve out with your gloves on. All right, I got it. Be very careful with this one. So now I have that edge still, there it is, that's a great angle. Can you guys see it? It's that, just a little bumped up and it's all because it's a little puffy there in the middle. So I think we can get this thing to go right back down. But I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna let gravity be on my side. Here's something you gotta do guys, every single time you use your plates. Always make sure they're clean because if anything's on there, man, it's going to push into your card and you're going to find that out the hard way. So we're going to put LeBron there. I'm going to put another plate right there, nice and clean on it. And this is the key part, you guys. This is the part where I won't just like be robotic and clip it and just be like, oh, that's, that's it. So what I want to do is let's look through here. Like, let's get in on this. You know what I mean? So... See the little bump in there, right? I know that if I put pressure on here, I can get it to look the way I want. I want it to look like that. And that's just me doing a little light pinch right there. So I want to find my spots. All right, so right there is a spot. Ooh, we get that thing like that. That's beautiful, right? So let me, I want to hold that spot. So let's see, let's get that thing back in its right spot, right there. So we're just gonna do a little little clip right there on the edge. I'm not gonna get right up on the card because I don't need to like, I don't wanna smash the card down. I wanna keep the 
if you guys can see the side profile, we're going to keep it nice. Let's keep the nice same side profile. Just with a little, little light retention on it right there. And to counter that out, we're going to need... Just want to look down here. So look at that part we were working on right there. If I can hold it like right there where my thumb is, that's a good spot. So right there. This is... Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's look at our back. I think that part is pretty much fixed, you guys, that we did. And now just to balance those out, I just want to put another one just right there. And I think three will do it. And then hang tight, because I want to go, we got to look at the Walter Payton card. So the next question, right? How long, Kurt? How long are you going to do this? Let's see. What, it's 1045? I'll probably take a look at this thing in a half hour or, you know, just a little bit and just make sure that, see if it's done, see how long, long we need to do it. But it's not squeezing the heck out of it. That's the point. Don't put 10 of these things around here, you guys. Just just enough to hold it the way you want. Use your eyes. Look and say, okay, yeah, that looks good. If I could just get this thing to stay in that position, it would be great. So now you can. Just hold it. And it should, since it's a paper finish, fingers crossed, it should come out pretty damn good. Okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to show you this one it's probably tomorrow because it's not like it has to dry or anything. You know, it's just, there's, it's not wet. We use no card spray, nothing on that. Just trying to get these edges and corners square. All right? So let's come back over here. So um, the flaw on that card was uh, edges and corners. And if anybody, you guys, um, anybody on here was like, hey, well, I want to see more. I want to check this out from the beginning or whatever. I I'll have this whole thing posted, you guys. So don't worry. I promise you that. And listen to Bruce. Don't, uh, you know, you can hold a card with pads if it's, if, if, if it's got moisture in it. Never pinch down a card like this when it's wet because, you guys, it's too soft. You're going to smash the hell out of it, all right? So just, you can hold it like this, like dry. It's, you ain't going to hurt it. You're fine. But only if something's wet, you got to use the pads, okay? Because you'll, you'll learn the hard way, and I don't want you to learn the hard way. Because I think I, I had a question up there. Somebody asked me, right, like, how many cards have you messed up? Honestly, you guys, like, in the beginning, it only took a few times. Like, I'm super, like, I'm, a, I'm like a stubborn mule. I'll keep coming and coming and coming and just keep on just doing something over and over because I'm so freaking competitive with myself. So, like, personally, I think it just, I realized after a couple different types of materials that I had to get good at different, like, materials. So, like, you know, we're going to talk about a Walter Payton rookie right here. Paper, right? But then you got cards like this that have like a shiny, they're paper, but they got a plastic surface. And then we got like foil cards, right? So like once you started, um, once you kind of get used to like the different materials, you don't really make too many more mistakes. You're kind of like, you can't fix every card, you know what I mean? It's not like everything turns into a 10, but like you won't be making mistakes pretty much anymore. You know what I mean? Once you kind of get the, and, and like, how about a new person? Like, how about somebody that's been cleaning cards for like a handful, like maybe a couple months? Like, did, how about you jump in? Tell us, did you like, like have some mega, like, oh shit moments at the beginning? Or did you guys practice on base cards, gain your confidence and get good at it? Like, what, what was your story? You guys, please, if anybody's like, you know, wants to help out the new guys, let them know. Um, but let's take a look. I want to see how far we have got here with Walter Payton. And if you guys are looking at this and going, oh, that looks messy. What I did, you guys, is we did a, what I call a semi-soak, where we just sprayed the front and back of the mats just to get the card wet because the card had some mega wrinkles in the bottom, which are not there anymore. And then we had some other big wrinkles in the top and we had no texture oh we still got a wrinkle there but look at the texture is back you guys we're going in the right direction aren't we do you remember how hardcore those were we just we just did that together all right so let's that i think that that is uh you know i think that this one you guys is uh you know just a cool thing to show you what we did in like you know 30 minutes like we're already got that much progress so look at we're going to do step two of the semi-soak, all right? So let's get the the wet ones like this out of the way. They, they've served their purpose, okay? Let's get some more pads in here. 
And I want to do a couple things to this card with you guys while, while you're here, okay? So we got a good amount of moisture on the Walter Payton rookie card. And I want to do, see, I, I, I know it's like silly, you guys, but like, that texture is what I'm all about. You see that texture? And look at it's back right there. If you guys were watching the video from the beginning, all this texture was all shined out. That's what I'm talking about. Getting that texture back on these vintage cards is really key because they look like crap if they've been like smashed or put. Mainly it's from screw cases, you guys. So, you know, that that's this is a, a really cool thing to be able to bring a vintage card like this back to life. I enjoy it, you know. So, um, you can, yeah, you can. I have a question that said, can you re-soak a card? Yeah, you could. Um yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it, but here's the thing. I would only re-soak it if, if, if it's still super dirty, because check this out. You see how this one, you guys, we got a lot of those creases out like right away, but there's still like that one by his head and stuff like that. I'm going to show you something we're going to do now. Now we're going to go in and get like granular on this thing. Okay. So I got the moisture working for us, but what I want to do next is let's zoom out. And you guys, it means so much to me that you join and like watch this way. Like this is how I do it. You know, I, I'm, I like making the edited videos because they're fun to watch, but welcome to, uh, you know, in front of the scenes. You know what I mean? This is it. You guys, all these little tools I get, card mats, plates, clips, all stuff, all on Amazon, on my website under products we love. So thank you for asking, man. You got to have the right stuff. You guys, you know, like I'll, I make the, you know, we make the polish, the spray, um, make, make my tools, you know, stuff like that, but all the other stuff. I don't need to make. I just buy it on Amazon. So here's what I'm doing over here, guys. A little card spray on a, on a detail Q-tip. So what I want to do here... Uh, let's take a look here. Bulls Don, I don't understand. To make clarify. He said, can I flatten... Can I? Oh, can I fatten a card that's been flattened? Yes, exactly. I thought he said, can I flatten a card that's been flattened? Yes, Don, that's exactly what we're doing here. And you guys, a lot of like, um, if, you, if, if, if anybody's familiar with my work and you guys have watched the past couple of days, I put up um, a really kick-ass feedback. Um, it was the satchel page that was altered because it was smashed down and um, did this exact process, semi-soak. Just did a semi-soak with it, let it dry nicely, got a uh, SGC-6. So it sucks that those cases were made to like protect your cards and then grading, it, grading wasn't even a thing back then. And then grading became invented and they decided to say, hey, if you used all those stupid cases that they sold the shit out of to all of us, now it's uh, now your card is graded or uh, graded altered and altered purgatory for the rest of its life. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, sorry, I'll just get, sometimes I just, I'm automatic. So I just went over, I put, um, a little bit of card spray, you guys, manually over this bump area. And there was like a little divot there. So now I'm just using my detail uh, swab to make it look fantastic, I guess. You know, I'm just kind of going over it lightly. If you guys want to draw or shade, that's kind of like I'm doing a technique right now. Like the way I'm using this is almost like I'm shading. And if I'm just using like a pencil and paper is the best way I can describe it. And I'm moving quick because I don't want to leave like gouges or track marks in it. I'm just kind of stimulating the entire surface. What's up, Ryan? You're late, dude. I'm joking. Thanks for being here, buddy. So check out what we just did. See that crease now above his head? See how little it's getting? And look at I want. Let's get why we're here. Let's get that dimple out of his hair. But rem hey, let's go back. If you guys weren't watching from the beginning, it's okay. I'll, I'll paint a picture with my words. They're simple. There's a crease there. There's a crease there. There's a crease there. And there's a crease there. And now there's not. We're going in the right direction. This is actually going to be... This is going to be a really nice turnaround on this card. You know what I mean? So what I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm just going in and doing final touches. You don't have to like rush and hide your card from the air. I just stress to you, don't let your card dry out in the air because it will wrinkle like a freaking piece of beef jerky. You can't let anything that's made out of paper go from soaking wet to super dry. It's got to be throttled down. That's why I'll use these pads or I'll even supplement these pads by using a cigar humidor. So it just, uh, 
you know, <laughs> Ryan, you did a, you, you prepped 109 cards in two days, dude, you got some, tell, tell us, Ryan, is, is that harder than training for an MMA fight or is, uh, or is that, a uh, what's harder do, doing the cards or going out and kicking ass for a living? But, um, so what I'm doing guys here is just, just very light. I'm just applying moisture very lightly. These cards are awesome because they'll take in the moisture and you just want to kind of like just gently apply it, gently put it in there. And don't worry, like, I'm also got to remind myself that this card's going to take a couple days to dry, so I don't need to, like, it doesn't need to be all figured out right this second. But I'm happy. I like this one a lot. It's the simple things, but God, that kicks ass, doesn't it? That's freaking sweet, dude. This thing was beat up. And uh, I was even anxious to use it tonight. I was like, well... The guys know me. If it like works out fantastic, great. If not, whatever. But this one worked out fantastic. And I can't wait to show you the LeBron. Here's what I want to do. I still have a little bit of a... Looks like a little bit of a dry patch back here. I just want to have the entire card the same kind of like... Kind of like the same, you know, moisture content just so it dries easy. Oh, you're allowed to use your fingers too, you guys. Don't be, a, don't be shy. You won't hurt it. But I just want to kind of have an equal distribution of moisture. And then let's let's now 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 I'm happy with Walter. Now we're gonna let Walter rest, and here's what I feel like is gonna happen. The you guys can still see that bump in his hair. That's gonna go away. It's just wet. We might have a little crack. Man, maybe a little crack in the paint. It, it, regardless, it's gonna look freaking sweet. So hang tight. It's gonna take me a couple days. Um, you know so. Let's uh, let's cover this up. So we're gonna go back. So now remember, this is not the card mat, you guys, that I that I soaked. This is a dry one. So we're gonna go dry. Get the wet one away. And you guys rock. Thanks for hanging with me tonight. Where I promise we're gonna come to a conclusion here soon, and I will answer uh, any questions I can if anybody has any for me. And just thank you guys for being, you know part of the KCC family. And, um, and if you're not, um, you know, you're always welcome. And I, uh, I love cards. I love collectors. I love the community. And I knew that, you know, from day one, that if you're going to do something unique and cool and different, you know, it's going to be disruptive, but I, I'm not a disruptive person. I just wanted to share all the things that I've created and worked on for all these years privately and quietly by myself with the community because I know damn well that I'm not the only person that would like to know how to take care of this expensive hobby in a respectful, awesome way. You know, somebody, things are always going to stay the same if you never stand up and like, you know, try to maybe challenge the status quo, you know, and uh, let me uh, show you guys where we're at here. So now we're going to let, we're still letting the, the LeBron hang out. I'm looking through my plastic here. The edge is still in the shape that I like. I'm not, I don't have too much, I don't have unnecessary or unwanted pressure on the card. So we're gonna, no, you know, here, I'll, I'll, I'm happy to answer that. Somebody said, uh, let me clear this up too. I had somebody say uh, to me, did a uh, PSA ban me, ban my products? See, PSA guys has never endorsed Kurt's Card Care. I mean, they're a big billion-dollar business. Why would, why would they give a shit about me? You know what I mean? Like, they don't. As much as, you know, we, we... And you guys might know me or recognize my company's name. Like, I'm a small fry when it comes to, like, the hobby world. The hobby world is collectors, right? Collectors and buyers. And then big corporate entities like PSA or collectors or whatever tops or whatever they are and then grading companies you know so i'm kind of you know the provide something different and teach something different but what what the uh what happened was with um i'm going to get this light out of my face pardon me let me get comfortable let's hang out i always feel like i'm rushing so i'm not rushing i'm uh so cheers you guys thanks for being here we're going to talk so let's hang out and I'll, and you guys can now that I'm forward facing, if you guys, if I didn't answer one of your questions, you can hit me with it. Okay. 
So, um, I thought, you know, this is my, my, maybe my pipe dream, which is fine, but I am a person that does have dreams and does have goals. So like, don't be afraid of your dreams and your goals, because if I was too worried about trolls and shit talkers, I would have never started my, I would have just stayed private and just cleaned cards and just rode off into the sunset. But I'm like, you know what? I said this three years ago, four years ago. I don't even know how long it's been since I started sharing, you know, my my advice and my tips and everything like that. Um, So, anyways, um, sorry, I'm I'm distracted over here. I um, I love. uh, I I actually really like grading companies. I think they're cool. I think they're. I think it's a cool thing. I really like having my cards graded. So, just like my intentions, you guys have never been to like be slick or trick somebody. I'm confident, you know, like if, if you haven't hung around and watched my stuff before, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to tell you how I feel. And it's in a nice way. I'm peaceful and professional. But the thing was, I love cards and I love other collectors and I love getting cards graded. So I never wanted to make something that was like slimy or, you know, weird or something like that would cause problems. I bet you guys like hear me on this. I bet you on an average month now, And I got some big dog submitters that, you know, people that clean and prep and grade thousands of cards a week, you know, tens of thousands of cards a month without any problems. So like in my mind, I always hoped that PSA would be like, you know what? All of our policies are written in pencil until, until, you know, we're open for further, uh, you know, evaluation or something like that down the road, you know, but like, so this Wimby was a perfect example. Like, I'm sure that PSA doesn't talk about me very much or even probably give a shit about me, but I hope they'd give a shit about you. You know, the people that like want the cards to be valuable, want them to get a high score, want them to be, you know, just, I hope they care about the people that pay all the bills is what I'm trying to say. And so like, they, without, I mean, I wasn't there. I didn't even clean that Wimby card, you guys. You know, I, I just got tagged in the video and I was like, holy shit, how cool. You know, happy customer. He was so pumped. And I can't thank him enough for that nice shout out. But I thought that would be like, all right, did I prove enough to these grading companies that you know that that card's worth buku bucks? And you know they PSA has the greatest probably grading card graders in the world right like and that's a and i say that respectfully that's a cool thing man these guys are pros girls guys whoever they are they know it they see the stuff they're they're and i imagine they're into cards so like if they can look at a card that's been cleaned up with kurt's card care and they're like dude it's legit it looks it looks good man there ain't nothing on here you know i don't see anything i just wish that they would have had that I wish, and maybe that day will come, but I wish that they would have said on behalf of all collectors, hey, you know what, we're still firmly against, you know, sanding the surfaces of cards down, uh, color, adding color, trimming them down, like, we can't, we can't pass, we can't say that, but, you know, the, uh, the, but the, uh, Kurt's card care, we inspect it, man, and they're, they're, it doesn't alter the card, so we're cool with it. I wish that they would be open to something like that, but, whatever, you know, but that, that dude, I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm not super good, I'm like, on all the card people's names and stuff, I like cards, I don't know all the companies and entities and people's jobs and stuff like that, but somebody sent me a picture today, and I think it was um maybe somebody that, like, owns or operates PSA or something like that, they came out and said, hey, we're gonna stand behind our uh, our grade and stuff, which is, I think they should, why, why wouldn't they, if they had, like, the best eyes in the world on it, why the hell wouldn't they? That'd be so fishy to not. So anyways, the point is, I guess it's kind of a win for all of us that enjoy working on our cards. I don't make stuff that's like makeup that's going to hide, you know, stuff on your cards and whatever, you know what I mean? So clean them up passionately and professionally and with grace and, you know, and enjoy it. I, I, I know I was just wishing. I was like, come on, man, haven't I done enough to show like 20 years ago or whatever, the, the dude that like cleaned up all the comic books and taught the whole world how to press comic books and taught the world how to clean comic books. People hated that dude. And now it's like, now people are like, thank you for teaching us the way to keep these books. You know, and if people don't want their comic book pressed, don't do it. If you don't want your, if you like your old dirty baseball cards, keep them dirty. I don't give a shit. It's the point is you have choices. We all have choices. And the thing that annoys me is when people want to get on a soapbox and wax poetic about their choice and want to rub it all over everybody else. People, like, 
save your daddy issues for somebody else. You know what I mean? So like my point is, man, like, uh, I, 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 it was kind of a victory, but you know, I was, maybe I'm just delusional. I was, I was telling myself, I'm, I'm, I'm like, they're gonna, they're gonna totally say Kurt's a good guy that we, we, we looked at all this stuff. I, what I was saying a few minutes ago, I bet you probably no bullshit, probably 20,000 cards or more a month that go through these grading companies that are prepped with Kurt's card care. And there ain't a damn problem with it. You know, I just, I'll, I'll just keep on going. You know what I mean? You'll keep on going, you know, but, uh, I just think it's, um, I, I, you know, like I have wishes, like if this was like a totally, uh, cool, like if everybody was if, like PSA, it was like, you know, or these grading companies were like, Hey, this is, you know, let's, we'll reevaluate our book. This is stuff that we, we, we're, we approve of. This is stuff that we don't. Like, I would love to just like even bring you guys in closer and show you some of the coolest stuff that I can do and tell you some of the stories and all stuff. And, and I want to show you this, you guys with you too. It, it's not all like roses out there. There are definitely, I think Kurt's card care and like my school of products and thought, you guys, pretty much like Boy Scout card cleaning 101. There are people out there, man, that specialize in making fakes, that specialize in doing fake autos, that specialize in doing tam, like they use their powers for evil, you know? And like, I've always been that, like, use your powers for good, help the people around you. And hopefully, you know, you keep doing it well enough that you'll, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll get there, wherever there is or whatever, you know what I mean? But I just want to let you know, I don't need a big, a big corporate entity to make me feel important. You know, I'm a collector. I'm one of you. I just have this interesting skill set that I adapted and I just love sharing with you, you know, period. I'm, I, I, I just say I'm every day peacefully working on cards, sharing the message and just letting people know you don't have to be like so self-policed or you don't have to let like whiny men on YouTube tell you what you can do with your cards. Like think, think for yourself, because if you don't, somebody's always training somebody. But, um, you know, I appreciate you guys and I appreciate what you're doing. And thanks for being the best damn people in the world to work for. Thanks for being such great ambassadors. And, um, thank you for joining Wednesday night live tonight. I'm going to follow up with LeBron. I'm going to follow up with uh, Walter Payton. And I think they're going to probably look pretty freaking good. You know what I mean? So, uh, I want you to do the same thing. Send me those before and afters. I love seeing them. And, um, you know, I appreciate you guys so much. Sincerely. Peace and love. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time, man. Just remember, man, take care of yourself and somebody else. You know what I noticed too, guys? <laughs> I, I, I think that most of the people that uh, talk shit about card care, I was watching some of these, I, I did watch a few of these videos. Just, they're co so concerned about cards, but these are the type of dudes that binge eat McDonald's and Taco Bell all day, every day. So it's almost like, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna freak out about a card cleaning but take care of yourself too you know what i mean so i stress that take care of yourself and somebody else you know i wish that uh tomorrow was a big day and it's it's kind of a bittersweet day i want to wish a happy heavenly birthday to my dad jerry would be 72 years old tomorrow and i i miss the shit out of him so for anybody out there you know that lost a parent you know, or a super close loved one or something like that, man. Just uh, remember, there's more shit to get worked up about than freaking cleaning cards, okay? So this is your hobby. Excel in your real life, too, you know? And uh, like I said, take care of yourself and take care of somebody else. Till next time, I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. Later.